Welcome back to ESA Winter 21. My name is Nico Hart and I'll be your host for the next few runs. We are raising money for Alzheimer Fondon. Links to donate for it can be found in the, at the below the stream or you can type exclamation mark donate in the chat. We would also like to thank Neo2, the Complete Edition, Twitch, and ViewSonic for sponsoring this event. Now it's time for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. Protosonic, take it away, why won't you? Thank you, Nico. Greatly appreciate it. And once again, welcome everybody, because, you know, we're playing Power Rangers. You know, it's more for time all the time. Um, <laughs> we're playing Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, and I know there's a bunch of these games out there, but we're playing the one specifically for the PlayStation 1. And, you know, other than that, you know, Rangers don't, Rangers are not alone. They don't work solo. So we have a commentator with us as well, Line. Introduce Hi. yourself. Uh, I'm Line the Order. I also speedrun this game. Uh, the entire Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue community is here. Yeah. It's just us. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, if you enjoy playing, if you enjoy watching this game, you'll definitely come down, you know, play the game with us. You know, we, we could probably offer you a morpher. And we can go from there with that, because, you know, once again, it's more for time all the time. Um, so I know we did have an incentive as we well. We did indeed. Um, so it was for the color choice of what Power Ranger you play. And with a, a staggering lead of $144, you'll be playing Joel in green. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, we're playing the hot shot cowboy, <laughs> the hot shot pilot, I should say. Okay. The hot shot pilot. It's not pink or yellow. We're good. <laughs> Yeah, so, spoiler alert, I'm just like, just like, like, quick five seconds as we talk about this, so, here's the thing, if you're playing this game any percent normally, you want to go with Ryan, you know, Team Titanium Ranger right here, okay, you know, strongest, has the highest amount of energy, but he is the slowest speed-wise. Red, eh, he, he, he's alright, you know, you can't, you can't mess with Carter, and green is, we're going to be happy with green, but not, no, no to pink, <laughs> no to yellow. Their strengths are not that great, so you be in battles for a lot longer. But we're going to be playing as Joel, the Green Ranger. And, you know, let's be rescue ready for this. So I'm going to give a countdown starting at 5, and the timer's going to start when the screen blacks out. So in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. <laughs> and so we hit our very first stage, Operation Lightspeed. So... You know, in this game, we're going to be dealing a lot with saving hostages, grabbing MacGuffins, and hearing very quickly from Captain Mitchell and Miss Fairweather, you know, our main protagonist, not our main protagonist, our main uh, mentors and assistants in this game. We kind of don't care about what they have to say enough, though, so we just mash through their dialogue. It's pretty yes. easy. <laughs> yes, that is very much true. Um, if most people don't know, this is based off the Super Sentai counterpart, QQ Sentai GoGo5. So, there was no Six Ranger, hence why Titanium Ranger is the first American-made Ranger for the Power Rangers series. And we have to fight our, you know, you know, mooks of the, you know, Saturday morning, basically, the Batwings. But we're not going to fight all of them. You see that one? We're going to just uh, ignore it, run away. Definitely not Power Ranger-like. So, the, in this game, there are certain enemies that are tied to the, uh... The transition screen so to speak you can just completely run by ones that seem a lot stronger than the rest but there, there'll be occasionally there'll be one or two that you just have to have to take down yeah you don't know why <laughs> so like that one that i just kicked now i don't have to deal with that one but the two that are in this room right now i have to defeat as well as with shockatron so we do have mini bosses as well so i'm gonna try to you know hold on to stuff and i'm hoping i can get them into a stun lock and i did not one of the important things when it comes to fighting bosses in this game is you want to try and get behind them and do like either a short series of punches or just the first kick in the, in the combo and it will stun lock the bosses incredibly easily. If you're not, but for every time you mess up the stun lock, it adds 10, 20 seconds to every single boss fight. And there are a lot of boss fights in this game. Yes, that is very much true. So. Oh boy, and speaking of boss fights, we're definitely going to be facing one of ours very soon. And I know in the Power Ranger community, a lot of people don't like this character because of the actress that played her. And I think it's just because, you know, people start off their acting career sometimes with Power Rangers. So but I'm not going to spoil it just yet. Um, we just grabbed our, you know, of course, our Power Ranger Lightning Bolt, which gives us invincibility. I don't know how long it's for, but we're definitely going to use it to our advantage. 
I think from my from my small amounts of testing, it varies by the energy levels of the ranger. Yes, and before I forget, and there's our first boss coming up, Vipera. But before we fight Viper, she likes to disappear a lot. We gotta take down some of the bat ones that are there with her. And I'm gonna hold on to our, you know, energy um, power up. And I'm gonna hold on to that because I am gonna need it at some point. And up, ah, gonna get her into the stun lock. There we go. So I'm gonna hopefully somebody knocks me down, and I'm gonna do the ground pound that we have for us. So that's also a thing in this game. Was you can stun lock the bosses. The bosses can also stun lock you, yes. which is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, that's a, that's a beat em ups for you. Oh, almost had her. There we go. And of course, for the most part, we just grab a jewel at the end. In some stages, we have to grab a jewel and a card. So that's definitely something that does happen, and that those cards lead to Megazord battles. But we're talking not not about Megazords just yet. We're talking about lightspeed teamwork because Rangers, we work as a team. See, as far as I know, in game, those jewels aren't ever explained. No, the jewels are never explained. I know, like in the Power Ranger, in the Lightspeed Rescue, I know some of the jewels are used, like to power up those main villains, like Viper, Olympia, so on and so forth. Um, but, but not you, all of so, them gets them. So yeah, if you've never watched the series itself and only ever played the game, you just pick up these jewels that do nothing. Yeah. So. <laughs> And remember, don't panic. <laughs> don't panic. <laughs> um, this will also be, be kind of a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're gonna get to our first. We're gonna get to another mini boss, which we can do something with them. And you <laughs> kind of realize we can start exploring stuff with some of these mini bosses. So hopefully, I don't have the mini boss load up just yet. Perfect. The thing that makes the mini boss load up here is also inconsistent. I've not worked out what makes him load in yet. I don't know if it's bypassing a certain trigger or if it's like a certain amount of enemies that need to die. But he spawns completely inconsistently sometimes. Sometimes you're down on that platform below, sometimes you're up here. Yes. I yep. don't know. <laughs> so couldn't get him off and I died. But, oh, he died just now, so we were going to be able to do exploit it by basically um, kicking him off the stage. Because <laughs> there are. Be a, that will be a recurring theme. If you hit an enemy, if you hit a boss off the stage, they die immediately. There's no failsafe. So you just want to try and maneuver every single boss to just get hit off the stage. Basically. Um, and we also have in this level, we gotta destroy these spikes that if they destroy the dam, it destroys Mar Mariner Bay. That never happens. So, this would actually be a good time to do a quick set of donate of donations, if there are any. Uh, I can talk about some of the donation incentives that we've got coming along. Yeah, um, good. One of the ones that we are going to be pushing right now is for Hilux 2 to watch the final cutscene. Currently, the incentive is for $600. We are about two hundred and no $420 away. So, guys, if you're able to donate, exclamation mark, donate in the chat to try to reach that incentive to watch the final cutscene. Awesome. And once again, it's all going towards a great cause. So keep donating and, you know, definitely just help out and... Let's just keep talking about this, you know. Hopefully everybody enjoys Power Rangers. And if you haven't watched <laughs> some, definitely check them out. And we got another hostage that we definitely have to save here. And I don't know how that hostage got there, but remember, don't panic. So one of the big things you'll see in a lot of levels like this is just random padding. Like, there's no real reason to make us go back to hit all of these. They just wanted the game to last a bit longer. <laughs> I, I think the the first long play I ever saw of this game was, I think it roughly takes about three hours to complete. Oh, wow. So we do ours in about 20 to 25 minutes. Yes. So <laughs> when you know what you're doing, this game is incredibly short. <laughs> yes. And we just got our last hostage and now it's time to fight our boss, Loki. Yes, it it's says Loki. It's not Loki, it's Loki. <laughs> exactly. So hopefully I can maneuver Lokai into, you know, falling off the stage, which I don't think that's going to work. So, oh, wait, there we go. And, you know, after we grab the jewel, 
And of course, after we get the card, we go into our first Megazord battle with the Super Train Megazord. And of course, you know, with um, Lightspeed Rescue, we actually have two sets of, actually three Megazords. So we have the Super Train Megazord, the Omega Megazord, which sounds really dope that you're not going to see in this one, and the Solar Max Megazord. So, so, you'd think the Megazord fights were really, really cool, because they were in every Power Rangers beforehand. Unfortunately here, they're awful. The combat in the Megazords feels like you are underwater. <laughs> Everything is incredibly slow. Apart from your jab, you can just jab whatever boss is there into a stun lock into death. <laughs> Yeah, um, a reason I saved right here, and in fact, I'm gonna let Line explain it, because there's a reason why I'm saving, especially here. So the upcoming stage is... it's something special. Rail Rescue is... so sometimes this game, much like many other games of its era, just decides it wants to softlock. <laughs> and there's literally nothing we can do about it. We've tried searching for ways to break the softlock, but essentially what happens is that at the end of each one of these little trains, uh, you start jumping and you kind of jump from one train to another. However, sometimes you just keep jumping eternally and you just can't do anything and the game times out. <laughs> Basically. And once again, the gist of this level is, hey, we just used the Super Train Megazord, and sadly to say, uh, the villains just took over the Super Train Megazord. They don't got tickets, so it's time to kick them off. So that jump you saw across the train, where he stopped and then leaped across, sometimes you just stop and just jump on the spot. And that's a full soft lock. Can't do anything about it. There we go. So hopefully no soft lock. And I might, I might die here. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Because once again, playing as the Green Ranger, um, uh, playing as any Ranger other than the Titanium Ranger, basically they are liable to die relatively quick. Yeah, seeing that health go down so quickly is just viscerally upsetting. <laughs> so I'm hoping that somebody drops a purple oh, gem perfect. would be really nice right now. Oh, the purple gem would be nice. Uh, we never actually talked about the gems for the most part. So these different gems actually give you like certain levels in regards to your energy meter. The energy meter can be used for different like powers. So like in the case, each ranger is unique. Um, like for titanium and green, they have a ground pound that can be used. I know the red ranger has some kind of like hyper beam kind of thing, which is not very viable to use in a speed run because of, well, it goes in one direction. <laughs> Yeah, we want the consistency of the brown pound because it hits 360 around you so which is much better than a one directional beam yes and luckily no we have not had a um screen like a soft lock so very happy yeah. about that jinxer is being really nice to you today <laughs> yes definitely so jinxer can actually be super aggressive in this level um because once again he can just hit you in every kind of direction if you wanted to because he'll go non-stop and once again like as we said like you know how we can stunlock um uh villains we can x they can stunlock you i'm gonna grab that health just to play it safe i'm gonna grab that extra life jewel and i don't think i'm gonna get them off oh nope there we go Alrighty, and I'm going to do another save again right here, just to play it safe. Um, I, I don't even know what I called the first one, but it's fine. I'm going to call this one A, and this is the last time we're going to save. Honestly, last time we're going to save, because this level also has a soft lock. And it's time to go volcanic. I hate this level so much. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, with the first with the first place route, there is definitely the first place route. There is a particular way you gotta go, and luckily, I'm I'm actually facing in the right direction. We didn't save that hostage that just fell into the lava. So, um, light speed. <laughs> we're light speed, but we're not light speed enough. <laughs> Do we have yes. time for a few donations? Yes, yes. Go ahead. perfect time. All right, we've got some supportive donations here. We've got $25 from Jellyfish Blues. Um, no comments, but thank you so much for that donation. And we've also got a $5 donation from Gusta uh, VK2 saying, um, Rangers never work alone. So that $5 goes towards the Take the Stairs uh, for Final Fantasy VII Remake Any Percent. 
Awesome. And once again, thank you for the donations. That's greatly appreciated. Once again, it's going to a great cause. And we got a... Oh, good grief. I was not expecting that Batlin to follow us. So we can actually avoid all these Batlins. And another thing with this level is meteors. <laughs> meteors yeah, everywhere. Uh, these meteors are completely random. They can just decide to hit you sometimes. And you you cannot do anything about it. Oh, great. Uh, hopefully I did not soft lock because this is where the game will probably soft lock at. Was so expect there's a soft lock coming up here that seems to be unique to every single person that runs this game. When it's with me, sometimes that little crate that Proto just jumped on then, sometimes your jump will button will stop working completely. Yes. And that will also happen on the next stage sometimes with me as well. Again, I don't know why. And we just got that stun lock, so that was good. Nice. And let's see. Now, and I think I forgot to tell you. Yeah, we have these meteors coming down. These meteors can actually home in on you. Like we're playing Sonic 06, you know, how they can just happen at just random spurts of time. Also, you know, games have got incredibly good design where you have to do mandatory leaps of faith to progress in the level. There we go, oh, and he's falling off. And we're gonna just take a little bit of damage right there, that's no problem. And let's see, here's Diabolico. So I'm gonna focus here. And there we go. And that's actually a really good card placement. I will say that right now. That's a really good card that's placement. Pretty good. The pro like Proto's like it looked like a joke with Proto saying that, but the angles and things you need to get Diabolico off the stage is it's absurd and he yeah. has faster recovery than every other boss in the game again why we don't know these just incredibly arbitrary things that the developers programmed in <laughs> yes and literally before this run happened I was talking to somebody that found out that there is actually over 100 different prototypes of this game so <laughs> that was definitely very interesting to find out as we went along so that was definitely interesting and some of them actually have a seventh um character in there known as demon hunter which is an exclusive character specifically to gogo -Go 5 and remember safety first especially when you're you know getting fuel rods saving people and fighting basically demons <laughs> so if you've noticed in every single level so far the objective has been completely different in this level we are picking up nuclear fuel rods yes then i almost i i'm not gonna lie i almost jumped off the stage that is definitely a beginner's trap like you could you could jump right off the stage right there into the water because remember rangers don't swim can I make a donation? Also... It's kind of relevant. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. Go right ahead. Twenty dollars from Bernie Hands saying, "Don't panic." <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we're not gonna panic. Uh oh. I hope I didn't soft lock here. So let's. Don't panic. Oh, there we go. Okay, we didn't panic though, so that donation helped out a lot. <laughs> no panic. <then. laughs> Our mini boss is coming up in a moment, and we've already had one already that was. Like lightning based, kind of, but now we got another one called Shrikenin, who is also lightning based. But he also dies if you hit him into the water, so, you know. Yeah, so I'm gonna go the other way around. And there we go. I'm like, oh no, this is gonna end very badly. I could have died right there. So if I you saw that, a very simple <laughs> three hit combo completely decimated Proto's entire life bar. And that just doesn't happen with Titanium, which is why we choose him. <laughs> yes, because you can see how the Green Ranger has to do like three hits to take down Batlins. Yeah, Titanium only needs two, and sometimes it can be one hit, like a one hit kill. And if you choose pink or yellow, they can take up to six hits. <laughs> so anytime you lose with like the massively increased movement speed with pink and yellow, you lose triple that in the actual fight itself. Yes. I just grabbed that extra life just in case, because this, that jump can be 
a pain in the butt because they're so thin in regards to that. But we only have one fuel rot left and one hostage left, so we should be good because we are not panicking as Power Rangers. Remember safety first, which is an appropriate name for this level, I suppose. <laughs> yes. Um, so we're actually gonna, we got everything, we're gonna avoid the rest of the Batlands that are around here, and we are actually gonna go into our battle, our final, not our final battle, but our boss battle with Olympias, son of Queen Bansheera. So I'm gonna focus here, and this will be a good time for donations as well. I can talk about the charity that we are raising money towards, and that is Alzheimer Fonden, which is the Swedish national fundraising organization focusing on Alzheimer's disease and other dementia-related diseases. Their aim and purpose is to increase fundraising to the benefit of scientific research in order to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease. So if anybody can and if anybody is able to, to put some money towards a fantastic cause, please do exclamation mark donate in the chat or look at the panels below. Alrighty. And once again, that hope was an you enjoyed incredible that. soft lock on Olympus there. <laughs> yeah, so that actually worked out very well. But now we got to do the same thing again with Mega Olympus that I'm going to call. And this is the last Megazord fight, luckily. <laughs> yes, and this like Olympus will actually be the one to actually fight back, like spinning fire and everything, or doing you know those sweeping kicks. Uh, we do also have a meter as well for the like the special meter. But well, we're not going to use it, it just shoots off some missiles. It shoots off some missiles, only and which you know, one of them is guaranteed to hit. <laughs> yes, I just want to show it off. There we go. Wow, I don't know. That never happened to me. <laughs> that never happened. <laughs> I skipped the, There we I go, we got the... one. We got, yeah. oh, that's never happened before. <laughs> yes, that's never happened before. Um, I know in some stages you can actually skip the victory poses with like the rangers, but I did not know you could do that with the... Um, with the Megazord. And we are on our last stage, everyone. Yeah, so, if you've watched Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, when you get towards the end of the season, yeah, Queen Banshee is very upset. You know, most of her plans have been foiled, and now she's taking the fight straight to the Lightspeed Rescue home base, the, and it's underwater, so the aquatic home base. So she's taking hostages. One of them is Professor Tasumi, a.k.a. the dad from GoGo5, who is the mentor of GoGo5 as well. So makes a nice little cameo, and we just saved Miss Fairweather. This, uh, this stage is aptly named Lightspeed Rescue, even though in the other categories, this isn't the last level of the game. <laughs> yes, there is a seventh level and another Megazord battle as well if you play on normal or hard. And in those ones, you actually have to save the Titanium Ranger. He's basically been captured at that point. That purple gem is a trap. Do yeah, not that get purple. It. Definitely. And here is Professor Tesumi. So it's great to see him. We're going to get him because he's kind of panicking. So remember, don't panic. Do we have time for a donation? We yes, do? perfect timing. Awesome. We have a $5 donation from an anonymous uh, donator. They say, this is a very fun run, but I have to ask, what made you want to run this game? And um, this made me laugh out loud when I um, <laughs> when I read this because I feel this on a spiritual level. It says, it looks jankier than my high school final project. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that goes towards a language choice of Japanese for Final Fantasy VII Remake Any Percent. Well... Let's talk about that. One, yes, this game is jank, of course, you know. Oh, it's gotta atrocious. Love, gotta love these old school <laughs> games, especially Power Ranger games with their jank. Gladly, since time has passed since this game came out, it's a lot better. And I'm going to ask you this question. Have you played the N64 variation of this? Oh, there is that. We got our purple gem. Perfect. And we can keep moving on. Um, so the thing that the made me want to speedrun this game in particular was I played it a lot when I was a little girl. That's it. <laughs> I'm kind of in the same boat as well. I mean, I was a fan of Power Rangers since I was a kid. Big shout out to my mom. She got me into Power Rangers. She probably thinks, yeah, I've created a monster with this. But it's definitely helped out. It's definitely been fun playing this. Um, we're going to do another, hopefully we can do another soft lock, an another stun lock on a This room is also a beginner's trap. Yeah. Because at the very back right of this room is one of the objectives is not clear unless you know about it. <laughs> when yes. I was younger, I would tear my hair out looking for the final objective in this level when I just had to come back here. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's not 
He's like he just wants to do his flips and everything. He's fighting today. And I'm just gonna use my screen nuke. There's yes. Professor Tatsumi again. <laughs> hey, we got him. Hopefully that health didn't disappear. But yeah, I definitely I'm a fan of Power Rangers, so I've played a lot of the games for um I play Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on the Genesis, the fighting game, as well. But once again, I've played this game since I was a kid. I this is actually my second copy of it because younger me didn't learn to place the game in the case and actually cracked it. Oh no. <laughs> so, so I was very upset. I remember that day I was crying. I was upset. And now Future Me bought a new copy, so I was very happy about that. We have time for another donation. We do. Yep. Awesome. We've got another five dollars from Gustav VK2. He says, "Don't panic. We've got more donations." <laughs> and that goes to the Take the Stairs bid for uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake as well. Thank you, Gustav VK2. Don't Perfect. panic. <laughs> and that's what we're not doing. We're not panicking. We are actually in the final room, and sometimes that battling will fall off. Like, <laughs> thank you for falling off the stair, falling off the ledge for me. You just made my life easier. Um. So, so one, we thing, got our... one thing I wanted to quickly mention is that you might have noticed that every single enemy in this game has the same moveset as you, which is something I thought was really interesting when we started this game, except they have the same hit stun as you, which is awful if you're playing a beat-em-up. I just wanted to say that, that's... <laughs> oh, almost had it. I'm gonna take a chance. Ah, nope. There we go, I'm gonna focus here. Oh, nope, I'm gonna die, so I'm gonna grab this health and I'm dead. Ah! Let's get rid of this guy. So I'm gonna focus for the rest of this, so I'm gonna be silent. Yep. You got this. I'm gonna play safe now and grab that health, but I'm not gonna take this chance. Um, time is coming up soon. As soon as we go through the portal, after we defeat Murmitron, and I'm just gonna use the screen nuke because he's being kind of mean right now. And so time is coming up right now. Nice. That was a really solid run. <laughs> yes, very solid, especially for the Green Ranger. And. Because we are at the end of the game for easy mode, it's an automatic game over. <laughs> yeah. Um, you, don't get, so, you don't get to play the rest of the levels. It said, no, no, no you stop here. <laughs> exactly. So we're in, we're in position two, basically. We got 53 seconds. So I'm going to change the name for this for the high score. We're going to name it ESA 21. And once again, thank you to the ESA staff, volunteers for, you know, making a great a marathon for this and for just giving me the, giving myself and line the opportunity to you know show off this game uh, we don't have a discord for this but it we will be amazing <laughs> we do not if maybe one day we will <laughs> maybe but, one day if you want to run this game uh i'm on at line the order on twitter and well protosonic is also at protosonic on twitter just hit um, up either of us we'd love to teach you this game <laughs> Oh, definitely, and I'm proto uh, proto underscore sonic seven twenty on Twitter. Don't oh, know why the seven twenty yeah. is there, but you know what? It's fine. Um, but once again, it was great to play this game, and you know, if you're interested in Power Ranger games, there's a still active people within the Power Ranger community. Just <laughs> let's just keep the Lightspeed Rescue community active as well. So, you know, I'm glad everybody was rescue ready for this game. And with that said, um. That's really it for us. Remember, yeah. it's more for time. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so here. much. Thank you so much, guys, for this mighty morph and excellent speedrun of Power Rangers. Guys, we're going to be taking a short intermission. And then when we come back after some ads, we are going to be watching Zerclips play some Shovel Knights. Guys, we'll see you in a few.